Outdoor Adventures. Today, it's day 26 of the quarantine. The roads are still blocked, it's still hard to find some food. So, I've got a plan. I'm going to go trap some today. We're going to use some uh, number one long springs. We're going to go after the uh, native Adirondack pine mice. There's quite a few around. They should be good and healthy this time of year. Stay tuned. I'll show you how I set the traps. We have to secure them well to the tree because those things are pretty strong, but uh, they're a good source of protein. And we'll see all else we can find out there. Keep watching. So, here's these long spring traps. I'm going to anchor them right to the tree here. I'm going to tie them up with the rope. We're going to leave two of these here. We're going to let them sit for a few hours. Hopefully we'll get some of these mice that are around. If you haven't noticed, there's a big pile of pine cones at the bottom of the trees and what they've been eating. They should be good. Right there's a big pile of pine cones. They've been piling them up here, so I'm thinking we got some pretty big ones out here today. Let's set these first. Actually, we don't even need to set them. I'll just tie them right up from the chains. We're going to tie it right up here. I'm going to bake these with some peanut butter. Peanut butter right on the pan. Oh, we have to re-secure these. Put some peanut butter right on the pans. This one up higher. Here's the first one. Get that tucked right in there. That right there should work pretty good. Set right down there low. Move this one just a little more. There we go. Those are tied right up. Get this one dangling away a little bit. Hopefully, we can catch something. Right now, I'm going to go do some foraging, see if I can find any wild edibles hanging off these bushes somewhere. All right, we're just going to wander around, do some foraging. There's got to be something wild we can eat around here. Can always use some pine, make a little tea with the pine. Oh, ooh, look, I found it. Right there it is. They must have just sprouted this morning. Got these small ones on bottom, they're wild sausage trees. The little ones, those are real good. Those are the young ones, the, the full size ones, they grow up top. You gotta pick those, they don't last long outside. So uh, I'm gonna pick these and go get them cooked up. While these are cooking, hopefully uh, our mouse traps out there will catch something. We'll take the drone out while we're doing this and see if we can find them. 
Throw these right in my Ziploc. Perfect, look at that. We got a Ziploc full already. We'll be all set. Okay, we're gonna be using my cook stove again today. But today I'm gonna to be using just liquid alcohol, which is just denatured rubbing alcohol. Pour a little bit of that in the, in the pan. Then we'll light that. Lighter's a little cold. There we go. Straighten that pan up. Lock these right up there. Put that right up on top there. And I found some butter outside again today. I got a few sticks I saved last week, but we're kind of running low out there. I think it's the end of season for butter picking. Just throw a little pad of this in there. We'll get our wild sauces just cooking. And while these cook, I'm going to take the drone and fly that around outside. See if I can maybe find uh, if any of those mice had got on our traps yet. Nice and hot, it's going to work perfect. Okay, so I've got our Adirondack sausages cooking. These are the ones uh, we just foraged up a little bit ago. And in the meantime, it's been a couple hours since we got those, but uh, I took the drone out, flew it, checked on my traps out back.
salt back, and we were able to catch two Adirondack pine mice. So, while these sausages are cooking, I'm going to shut the camera down, and I'm going to go uh, clean them up, get them all processed and washed up and everything, get them seasoned. When these are done cooking, then we're going to get those uh, mice in here. Should be a pretty good meal tonight. Okay, I've got all these mice all cleaned up and processed. Let's get them thrown in the pan. Got them right there. Got some nice hunks of meat off those back legs. Drop those right in that butter. Okay, spread them a bit. I'm going to sprinkle some of the seasoning on there. Now the seasoning, it's just ground up pine boughs, a little bit of road salt. It's still, uh, you know, cold up here in the Adirondacks, so you get the road salt left over from winter, you just rinse the dirt out of it and you're all set. It makes a pretty good flavor. We're going to season it up pretty good. Those pine mice don't have too much of a gamey taste to them. They eat all those pine boughs and... Uh, pine cones and all that, they have a pretty good flavor. And notice there's quite a bit of fat on them, so they must have a pretty good winter eating. We get all those flipped over. You want to make sure you cook your mice all the way though, you don't want to have those uh, undercooked. So there you have it, wild forage sausage, Adirondack pine mice with some wild seasoning. Try a bit of that mice. Oh, those are delicious. These little sausages, perfect. I picked them right at the right time. Another day longer, they wouldn't have been any good. Thanks for watching Moe's Outdoor Adventures. Come back, like, subscribe, hit the bell button. I'm going to try to get some more videos out this week. And if you have any video ideas, just let me know. I'll see what I can do. Thanks a lot.